as the song goes, no kit, no ball. Uh, play those early games, what this club has become. And you're right to be proud of that history, and you're right to remember it and celebrate it today. What's going on everyone, welcome back to another video on the channel. We're in at Ibrox today, a sunny Ibrox, a nice change. We're in for the nice and early for what is the fan village they've called it. So we've to be in for 12 o'clock, it's just about 5 to 12 right now. The players are still coming in up ahead of us, so we'll go and see who's still to come in at this time. But for now we're going to go and have a check at what this fan village has got to offer us. So I've asked for what this is starting at 12, there's stuff about beat the goalies, there's live Q&A sessions, there's a lot of pre-match entertainment today, so we'll see what that's all about. So let's go and take a look around and celebrate our club's 150th. Still a good while until we have a reaction to the team, but one thing for today is we are wearing this top, and you know, our record isn't too great when we're wearing third kits or like special kits, so hopefully we can sort that today, because realistically with every league game, as well as Rangers, like it needs to be cup final mentality for every single game for the rest of this season. The T4 that's planned inside as well, mainly organised by the Union Bears, is going to be insane. All four stands, there's like coloured bibs that you have to wear like throughout the 90th minute to make Ibrox like a sea of colour, I can't wait to see what that one's like as well, but... Yeah, extra buzz about the place today. Nice weather for it. Let's get into it. Okay. <laughs> this door now, just having a little browsing. We've got a little sneak peek of the stadium where it's going to be like, I believe that's all the bibs, so that's what it's going to look like all throughout the 90. Cannot wait. This is what we've decided on, getting these two in the sale, don't mind if I do, both of them for 55. Sorted and we hey, definitely got in just in time, no queue for us. Another thing about this TV today is £26,000 raised by the UB for it, 15000 going towards actually making this itself and 11000 that extra 11000 all going to charity as well, so you shout out to them for that great cause and hopefully the club actually commend them for it. For the World's Legend match on Saturday the 26th of March, along with the Old Firm Derby match on the 4th of April, which is a Sunday. There's plenty going on in the fan village if you've just arrived, welcome. Today we've got a big screen entertainment which is going to be hosted by myself, I'm Ali Defoy, great to meet you. And some very special guests which will be coming up today's interviews. And a little stand set up to check out some memorabilia here, I am jealous of that, definitely want that. Manella's seen top of something I need to get. From the 4-1 victory. I want that so bad. You can see what the old tickets were like back in the day and these here, famous boots. Yellow which is gold, that one with a in off the post, rolling across the night on our side. What a player, what a boot. And for one of course, cheers. Just bumped into Caden here, and what's your name? Robbie. Robbie, right, we've got a wee match prediction. What are we saying, lads? What are we thinking? 2-1 uh, or 3-1. 2-1 or 3-1, three one. Three one what are one. you thinking? 2-0. Yeah. No. A, a back of 2-0, no. a legend, boys. Yeah. Cheers. from the loud now we've managed to settle a few pre-match nerves in there but to just speak to those guys there whether it's a kid that comes up with a parent or one of the older guys that just come up to say hello like the support I get here on the channel is ridiculous I'm blown away by it all the time so as always I'd like to thank, thank everyone that watches these videos it's the support's amazing we're at quarter to two now places are starting to get a lot busier and I have just spotted a wild Roxy in the crowd there just about to keep my ears popular Roxy I bought this, so one off is a special, a tenner, and then the boy that serves us says he likes the videos, so what's the chance? We follow Peter Park, always Peter's glory, we always Peter's glory, from the stands in Ibrox Park. Now we have 
have got a team out, happy to see Fashion back in, Arthur done the bench, a Rebo still a bit running on an empty, but Bassi in its centre half, Hollander maybe not fit to start after coming back, hmm. Jack straight in for the start, they'll love that. Huge pre-match entertainment to mark today's 150th match anniversary against Aberdeen. There's a pre-match show including a full stadium Kifo which has been organised by the Union Bears, so you possibly see Good. it with their brilliant shows of displays before. This time you're going to be involved. You don't have to do anything other than get to your seat in plenty of time. People here would be able to name those four teenage boys. Um, they cannot have imagined when they first laid their claim to a, a little part of Glasgow Green, played in their civvies, you know, as the song goes, no kit, no ball, <laughs> and play those early games for this club has become and you're right to be proud of that history and you're right to remember it and celebrate it today. Well that was pretty enjoyable for something different but time to get into your seats now nice and early in there before half two for this display looking forward to that but the most important things today let's go in there and get the three points. Five minutes before kick off. You can see the displays that get ready to show. there on every single seat for the way out.
She wrote to Ibrox 1-0 win. Tight one again. Performance not brilliant. 
Hi Brooks was later a loud boo once my else came off but turns out it was pretty decent. <laughs> Game our roof come on to save the day. And we say the three points are all that matters but one thing's for sure we need to find the better performances because you're not gonna play in our eight games at that quality and pick up maximum points. The performances need to improve. Back in the house now, so I've had a bit more time to like digest my thoughts and everything about the game and realistically like, you always see when we play Aberdeen they tend to up their game, but I think today it was more of a case of us downing to their level of football. It was so poor it took us up to the seventy first minute in the game to get a shot on target and honestly that ninety minutes there I think is possibly the worst 90 minutes I've seen us playing this season. Well, that first 45 minutes in Parkhead. But apart from that, like as a full game, I think that's maybe the worst. I just don't get the, like, Dortmund. Borussia Dortmund will press the life out of them. But these SPFL teams were sitting off them and not pressing them high up. We're genuinely respecting them more than we're, expect than we're respecting Borussia Dortmund. It's like, it's just so confusing. I don't get Geo's tactics with this. One more thing I was confused about today was we were meant to be wearing the Founders kit, your four lads kit, and that was nowhere to be seen today, of course. It was, it was a big build-up for that all week, talking about it, putting it on sale, saying they're going to wear it, and then they came out in the blue kit. That was a bit confusing. And I hate just sitting here sounding like a morning after picking up on another vital three points, but I think it's just the worry of you play like that every game from now on, and we're going to drop a lot more points where they've came from in the past couple of weeks, that's for sure, so... Just, if it was a 1-0 win and it, it's a comfortable 1-0 win, you're like, okay, good three points. But the fact that it was a bit dodgy and you're going, oh my, or Aberdeen going to equalise here was where the main worry's coming from. But three points was three points, but it's a bit more pressure on them going to a tough away ground tomorrow in Livingston. So let me know your thoughts on the video. Hope you enjoyed it down in the comments below. And we'll see you all in the next one. Bring on Red Star.